everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly what I take with me when I go on trips as far as art supplies. My art essentials. This is the pouch here that I carry all my art supplies in and everything fits really neatly. Now, let me have a little bit of a disclaimer. This is just if I'm going someplace for a day trip or overnight or it's a trip that I can't take a lot of stuff with. But if I'm going someplace, I'm going to be staying, a, you know, a week or something and I can take more than I definitely do. But this is my bare minimum of what I will take with me when I travel. So let's look what's inside. Whoa. So the first thing that I always bring is a sketchbook, something that I can draw in, doodle in, write down ideas, even take some notes. And I don't have like a set preferred sketchbook. Um, I go through all different kinds of shapes and forms and I like to change it up each time. In the past I've done sketchbooks like this and a little bit smaller. Sometimes they're a little bit thicker than this. So this one here I've had for a little while. I'm not going to do an extensive look through because once I finish it I will do a sketchbook tour when I finish this one. So don't want to show everything right away. But a sketchbook, very important. Next thing is my pencil pouch. I like to keep my pencils and smaller things in a pouch when it keeps the lead safer um, and helps keep everything a little bit more neat so that I can find it, especially if I'm like traveling in a plane or something and I, you know, you just want to be able to find everything well. So there's several things in here and I'll just dump them on out. For those of you who've watched videos of mine in the past, you know that I really enjoy drawing with these cool erase color pencils, and I usually have one or two in various colors in my pouch, along with just a regular graphite pencil. Sometimes I'll have an actual leaded pencil, while other times I'll have a mechanical pencil. If you're going to have a pencil, then you need to have a pencil sharpener, and I like one that kind of contains all the little leads inside so it doesn't make a huge mess. As far as erasers, I have just a regular white eraser and then I usually take um, some gummy eraser or kneaded eraser and this is actually one that one of you guys sent me and I love it because it's in this little case with a little smiley face on it. I love the smiley face. Um, but I can keep it safe from getting you know, like extra lead on it or other kind of dirt that will float around in my pencil pouch. So having it in some sort of sealed container is a great advice. For you. I bought a brand new one and threw it in my art bag and when I took it out the next day it was not brand new it was covered in lead so keep it clean. And then along with that I will take a assortment of different kinds of inking pens. One of my favorite brands is the Sakura Micron and so I take several different sizes. I have a 03, a 02, and a 005. And then I also like to have some sort of brush pen as well. So this is a Prismacolor brush pen. So this is all that is in my pencil pouch. Along with that, I usually like to take a pack of colored pencils with me. Now I usually use Prisma brand colored pencils, but the lead in those is so soft that putting it in a bag of any kind, I'm really running the risk of shattering the lead. So I usually take a less expensive brand and keep that with me. So I have a pack of Crayola uh, colored pencils, which I really like. They're good. And I try to keep them in the box um, and it helps them from getting manged around as well. If the box wears out, then I will get a little pencil pouch and put them in that as well. Now this next one isn't necessarily necessarily what I bring every time, but I do tend to bring it more often than not, which is some little bit of watercolor supplies. So first I have this little travel watercolor kit. I just picked it up at my local Michaels. So it has the pans here and then a little mixing wells there and it's just, it's easy. I've taken this to several different places and enjoy it a lot. And the paints, um, the paints are pretty good for adding color. It did come with a really tiny paintbrush, which I couldn't use. It was just, it was like this big. It was really tiny. So I do pack my own paintbrushes. Um, because these are too big to fit in my pencil pouch, um, I have to carry them in the bottom of, of my bag. But what I'll do is I'll take a piece of paper and wrap around the tips. That will keep the bristles safe from getting smashed. And then when I'm ready to use them, I can just pull them out and they're ready to be used. And they're all nice and neat and taken care of. 
And of course you're going to need some watercolor paper. I found this and I absolutely adore it for traveling. So this is a mini block. So it's glued on two sides so that I don't have to worry about taping my paper down. I can just paint on this wherever I am and it's not going to warp on me. It also has a really nice thick back board there so I don't have to worry about if I'm painting someplace outside then I don't have to worry about trying to find a table or how to rest the paper. It's really really sturdy. So there you go. That's what I take with me when I'm on a short little day trip or an overnight trip and I don't want to take my entire studio with me. Um, these are the essentials that I take. So hopefully this gives you some ideas in what to bring or pack in your own art travel kit. And hey, if there's something else that you like to bring in your art bag, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you'll give us some ideas of some other little things and tricks that we can pack with us. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you're brand new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!